Next slide, please. Next slide. Next. Can you all see my screen? This is so 2020. Let's face it, in 2022, you need to do more to engage your audience. Hi, my name is Enrico, and I help you become a remote working hero by adopting the technology that works best for you. If you want to stand out in 2022, then you have to take your presentation skills to the next level. What if you could add to your Zoom or Teams video overlay graphics, animations, media, second camera shot, almost like in a TV production that will create a wow effect and will not only make your audience wanting to binge watch your presentations, but will also deliver your message with impact. The good news is that you can do that with OBS Studio. I hear you saying, I'm not a technical person, that is too complex, but I guarantee you can do it. Welcome to the Remote Presentation Hero course. Your path to becoming a remote presentation hero is made of 10 steps that can be grouped into two macro parts. In steps one to six, you learn the fundamentals of OBS. Steps seven to 10 is where you're going to create your own professional engaging presentation with OBS. Let's have a closer look at the individual steps. Step one, your learning journey. This is where you get familiar with the course, get to know the structure, my recommendation on how to follow the course and all the available resources. Step two, OBS Studio 101. Here you'll be introduced to OBS Studio from scratch. What is it and what can it do for you? We'll download it, install it and familiarize with the graphic user interface. And you'll already work on a mini project that will allow you by the end of the step to have your first OBS presentation ready. You learn how to add your camera, logo and lower third and send the video to your video conferencing platform. Step three, learning the building blocks. You learn all the main source types that are your cameras, media, text, graphic elements, screen capture and more. Step four, spice up your presentation with effects. This is where you learn how to apply effects to your presentation. Step five, set up your audio properly. We all know that audio is very important. That's why I've dedicated one full step on this topic. Here you learn how to set up the audio in OBS and how to send it from OBS to your video call. Step six, add movement with scene transitions. You learn the different options you have to transition from one scene to another one and how to add move animations to the objects on your presentation. That ends part one. The first step of part two is step seven, design your presentation with the remote presentation canvas. It's now time to define your concrete project, the one that you will be working on from now till the end of the course. And that will represent your final project that you will soon be using in real life. Close OBS, download my remote presentation canvas and start designing your presentation. Step eight, create your presentation. After completion of the design phase in step seven, it's now time to start creating your presentation in OBS. Here you learn how to build scenes for the most common use cases. For example, a starting soon scene with a countdown, a second camera scene with an overhead shot for a product demonstration, or a transparent whiteboard scene for graphic facilitation. I'll be sharing with you my best practices and the scenes that I've been developing in the past years that have worked well for me. This will serve you as an inspiration for you to create your own scenes and unleash your creativity. Step nine, deliver your presentation live to the audience. Your presentation is ready. Let's learn the best practices to deliver it live. How to switch between scenes, how to modify the content on the go, and how to make sure that all the audio is coming through your audience properly. Step 10, you're the hero. This will be the time for you to grab your well-deserved badge and certificate. But the learning doesn't stop here. Keep engaging with the community to stay up to date with the latest news, learn from the other students, and be informed by me when new lessons will be added to the course. You may be asking yourself, is OBS Studio right for me? Is it too tacky, too complicated, just for YouTube or Twitch streamers? Well, OBS has been used by young gamers on Twitch or YouTube, but the increase of video calls during the pandemic has skyrocketed its popularity also for professional presentations. So yes, indeed, OBS is right for you. And you will learn it from me. I speak your business language and I developed it with you in mind. 